At 8.30 in the evening, the documentary 21 Icons South Africa will be aired by our sister channel SABC3. It takes a journey with Nelson Mandela and many of the most influential architects of democracy as they tell their journey in reaching the landmark of the first democratic elections. Adrian Stern is one of Africa's preeminent photographers and filmmakers. He has created a unique collection of multimedia projects that document some of the world's most inspiring individuals, cultures and lands. He is the founder and photographer of the 21 Icons documentary. He joins me in studio now. Adrian, good morning. Welcome. Thanks, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm amazed when I, when I see these kind of projects and the life it's taken on. Are you amazed at how um, iconic, how popular 21 Icons has become? Yeah, I, of course. I mean, when you start something in your house and it, and it grows to this size, amazed but if you look at the people that we met mm. and the quality of these South Africans it's probably not so amazing what's more incredible to me is that they haven't been recognized previously in, in this collective and, and recognized mm. as men and women who are creating a really positive South Africa in the now not just in the past did I kind of touch on the crux of the, the issue within the intro? I mean, is this really just a story about these 21 individuals that have played a critical part in our, in our democracy and building the path to our democracy? Or is this just so much more that we didn't know? Look, it wasn't... This documentary was made despite itself. We didn't go out to make a documentary. We went out to take photos and create short interviews and short films. Mm. At the conclusion of the project we found that we had enough to tell this story of democracy mm. and it was an organic story. So many of these people, even today, would, n would be embarrassed or, or, or be shy to say that they played a, a role mm. in a democratic South Africa and it becomes overused, the democracy of South Africa or, or the Rainbow Nation, but you meet these men and women and you experience their sincerity, mm. you experience their absolute enthusiasm for this community in this country and you're just blown away blown away. but I, I guess it's the, the, the whole thing just took us by surprise agent we, we're showing some pictures on our screen right now talk to me B, about these pictures and some of the ideas because some of the ideas I've got to be honest with you as beautiful as they are they are painful mm. they are beautiful mm. they just speak so much and i don't know if that was a conscious choice when you guys sat down or was it something that happened as you mentioned organically look it was a conscious decision to make interesting photos to take a photo that had a message that that the the person who who was sitting for the portrait got involved in with us mm. they sat there and they discussed the concept and we said what you know what story do you want to tell and we wanted photos that that told a story that grabbed the eye not just a a beautifully lit photograph for the sake of a beautifully lit mm. photograph. Um, at the conclusion of these photographs and these interviews, we had something incredibly special. We had an insight, we had a window into a generation of South Africans that have led us, have, have, have sort of joined arms and said, come with us, and here we are in, in 2014. Um, I think it's a really dangerous thing for the rest of the world in South Africa just to focus on your Nelson Mandela's or your Desmond Tutu's, it's a much more positive thing. And it's something that those guys have wanted. I mean, Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu, I was with the mm. Archbishop a couple of weeks ago, and they are so focused on this community mm. that they want us to focus on us and to believe in ourselves. And, and that's what this whole thing became about. This 21 Icons is in 153 countries. Well, you've had feedback responses there. Uh, you're going into season two. Yeah. Um, globally, I mean, what has the reaction been? Because the world is obsessed with Tata Madiba, and for obvious reasons we understand. But what has the feedback been when they look at the other 20 icons, the other stories related to how we got to that to democracy or the South African story? That's a really good question. And one of the big, really positive things for us was the feedback in Spanish, these questions in Spanish, in Italian. Um, <laughs> I mean, we had to get them translated. I don't, <laughs> I don't speak Spanish or Italian. But th because it, it ran in the Wall Street Journal, the London Times, the Australian, all around the world for five months. And probably the, the most heartwarming thing for me was not the revelation that Nelson Mandela or Desmond Tutu are incredible human beings. There was no revelation there. I'm not telling a story that anyone didn't know. But for people like Philip Tobias, Lillian Singo, uh, Shabalala, these incredible men and women and the reactions that people overseas had to them, 
And it was to say, we had no idea that South Africa was filled with such extraordinary people. And that for me was a revelation for us. We, we set out to do it, but when you actually do it, you sort of can't believe it's happening, I guess. And this is a real moment, I imagine. Okay, we're going to leave it there, but I uh, am sure not only myself, but everybody watching, all South Africans, on the 27th of April at 8.30 in the evening, the documentary 21 Icons South Africa will be aired on SABC3. And uh, you've heard it. It's uh, not to be missed. Of course, joining me, that was the founder and photographer of the 21 Icons documentary. And we're talking to somebody who really, in my mind, has probably done an amazing job, Adrian Stern. We take an ad break. Thank you.